हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम बैक टू नाज अकेडमी एजुकेशन कैसे हो आप लोग सब ठीक होंगे उम्मीद है सो so, आज हम देखने वाले हैं रिप्रोडक्शन इन लोअर एंड हाइयर एनिमल्स जो हमारा बायोलॉजी है उसका एक्सरसाइज हम लोग स्टार्ट किया है तो ये हमारा जो सेकंड चैप्टर है ट्वेल्थ क्लास का उसकी क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव का जो दूसरा है वहाँ से लेकर तो क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स पूरा इस वीडियो में देखने वाला है ये हमारा पार्ट टू है इस चैप्टर का क्योंकि पार्ट वन में ऑलरेडी हमने सारी चीज़ डिस्कस की है और ये हमारा पार्ट टू है ठीक है एक्सरसाइज का सो so, अगर आप लोगों ने उस इस वीडियो को नहीं देखा है तो जाकर देखिए डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में लिंक दिया गया आपको ऊपर आई बटन पर मिल जाएगा ठीक है और चैनल पर नए चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करके हमारे से जुड़ जाइए और वीडियो आपको पसंद है तो लाइक कीजिए नहीं पसंद तो डिसलाइक कीजिए एज विश बट बच्चों तक इसको शेयर कीजिए क्योंकि ना आप शेयर करेंगे तभी सारे बच्चों तक सारे क्वेश्चन आंसर की वीडियोज मिलेंगे ठीक है चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं सो so, हमने यहाँ तक ऑलरेडी देख लिया फर्स्ट जो क्वेश्चन था क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव का तो हम सेकंड जो है क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव का टू वहाँ से स्टार्ट करेंगे तो सेकंड क्वेश्चन आपको दिया गया है एक्सप्लेन द स्टेप ऑफ पार्टूरेशन चलिए इसका आंसर देखते हैं तो आंसर है आपका पार्टूरेशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ गिविंग बर्थ टू अ बेबी द फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज इन्वॉल्व इन दार्टूरेशन लाइक यूटेरिन एंड एबडोमिनल कैरेक्टरेशन डायलेशन ऑफ अ कर्विक्स एंड पैसेज ऑफ बेबी आर कलेक्टिवली कॉल्ड लेबर लेबर इज अकम्पाइंड बाई अ लोकलाइज सेंसेशन ऑफ डिसकम्फर्ट एगोनी कॉल्ड लेबर पेंट्स पार्टूरेशन इन्वॉल्व द फॉलोइंग थ्री स्टेप फर्स्ट है डायलेशन स्टेज यूटेराइन कॉन्ट्रेक्शन बींग फ्रॉम द टॉप फोर्सिंग द बेबी टूवर्ड्स द सर्विक्स कॉन्स्ट्रक्शन एंड आर अकम्पाइंड बाई पेन कॉज बाई कॉम्प्रेशन ऑफ ब्लड वेसल्स ऑक्सीटोसिन Induce uterine contraction, which become stronger and stronger due to simultaneously reflex. As a baby is pushed down in the uterus, its head comes to lie against the cervix. The cervix gets dilated, and the vagina also shows similar dilation. This stage of labor can be normally last up to few years. Its end in the reproduction and amniotic sac of the fetus. सेकेंड स्टेप है एक्सप्लोशन स्टेज ड्यूरिंग द स्टेज द यूटरन एंड एबडोमिनल कॉन्स्ट्रक्शन बिकम स्ट्रॉगर इन नॉर्मल डिलीवरी द फिट इज पैसेज आउट थ्रू द सर्विक्स एंड वर्जाइना विद हेड इन द फोर डायरेक्शन फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन इट टेक्स अराउंड ट्वेंटी टू सिक्सटी मिनट द अम्बलिकल कोल्ड इज टाइड एंड कट ऑफ क्लोज टू द बेबी नेवल थर्ड स्टेप है आफ्टर बर्थ आफ्टर द डिलीवरी ऑफ द बेबी द प्लेसेंटा सेपरेट फ्रॉम द यूट्रिस एंड इज एक्सपेल्ड आउट As after birth due to serve contractions of the uterus, this process happens within ten to forty-five minutes of delivery. Okay, so ये आपके answer है लिख लीजिए आप लोग. Okay, next question है आपका third है. Explain the histological structure of testes. Student, सबसे पहले आपको ये diagrams बनाने हैं. ये जो testes दिया गया है. ठीक है आपकी टेक्स्ट बुक में भी दिया गया है वो डायग्राम बनाने के बाद आप लिखेंगे हिस्टोलॉजी ऑफ टेस्टिस फर्स्ट पॉइंट लिखेंगे एक्सटर्नली द टेस्ट इज कवर्ड बाय थ्री लेयर्स दीज आर ट्यूनिका वर्जनियल्स इट इज आउटर मोस्ट इनकम्प्लीट प्रियल कवरिंग मेड ऑफ द कनेक्टिव कनेक्टिव टिश्यू एंड एपिथीलियम बी है ट्यूनिका एल बुगिंगियम इट इज द मिडल लेयर फॉर्म बाय कॉलेजियस कनेक्टिव टिश्यू सी है ट्यूनिका वेस्कुलोसा It is the innermost layer. It is a thin and membrane layer. Second point is each testis is divided into about two hundred, three hundred testicular lobules by fibers from tunica. In each layer, lobule has one to four highly coiled semiferous tubules. Each semiferous semiferous tubules is internally lined by single layers of cube. Cuboidal germinal epithelium cells and few large pyramidal cells called sertoli or sustentacular cells. The germinal epithelium cells undergo gamete gametogenesis to form spermatozoa. Sertoli cells provide nutrition to the developing sperms. Various stages of spermatogenesis can be seen in the same. Seminiferous tubules, the innermost spermato spermatogenial cell, two n primary spermatocyte, two n secondary spermatocyte, n spermatids, n and spawn n. Between seminiferous tubules, few groups of interstitial cells are present. After 
After puberty, intestinal cells produce a type of androgen. Is that testosterone? तो ये आपका आंसर है हिस्टोलॉजी हिस्टोलॉजी ऑफ टेस्टिस ओके तो आप स्क्रीनशॉट लेकर आंसर्स लिख लीजिएगा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन देखते हैं फोर्थ आपको दिया गया डिस्क्राइब द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ब्लास्टूला आपका आंसर है ब्लास्टुलेशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द होलो एंड मल्टी सेल्यूलर ब्लास्टोसाइड द प्रोसेस ऑफ ब्लास्टुलेशन कैन बी समराइज एज फॉलोअर्स First, the embryo that enters the uterus remains floating in uterine cavity for two to four days after it enters is dead till the end of seven days after fertilization. The outer layer of cells in in the marrow and now form the layer called the trophoblast. Cells form the trophoblast being to absorb the glycogen rich uterine milk. The blastocyte double in size of zero point fifteen mm to zero point thirty. एम एम विथ मोर फ्लूड इंटरिंग इन साइड द ब्लास्टोसाइड कैविटी इज फॉर्म्ड दिज आउटर सेल्स बिकम फ्लैट एंड आर कॉल ट्रिपोप्लास सेल्स एब्जॉर्बिंग न्यूट्रिशन फ्रॉम द डेवलपिंग एम्ब्रियो सेवेंथ है द लार्जर इनर सेल्स फ्रॉम इनर सेल मास ऑफ एम्ब्रियो ब्लास द एम्ब्रियो प्रॉपर डेवलप फ्रॉम द एम्ब्रियो ब्लास दिज रिमेंस अटैच टू द ट्रिपोप्लास ऑन ओनली वन साइड The trophoblast cells in connect with the embryonal knob are called nails or rubber. At the at this stage, the blastocyte so polarity is that the side with the inner cells mass is called the embryonal end, and and the side opposite to it the uh, an embryonic end. By the end of seven days, the blastocyte is fully formed and ready for implantation and gastrulation. The function of zona. Plus, uh, plus you know, is the prevent the implantation of the embryo at an abnormal site. It does not expose the sticky and phagocytic trophoblast cells till the reach the implantation site. Is that within the uterus after which the zona plus you know, uh, ruptures. Next question, आपको fifth दिया गया है. Explain the histological structure of ovary in human. Answer: Each ovary is the compact structure differentiated into a central part called medulla and the outer part called the cortex. The cortex is covered externally by a layer of germinal epithelium. The stroma stroma of loose connective tissue of the medulla has blood vessels, lymph vessels, and nerve fibers. The outer cortex is more compact and granular. It shows large number of tiny mass masses of cells called ovarian follicles. These are collectively formed of the immature ova. Originating from cells of the dorsal endoderm of the yolk sac, the cell migrate to the gonadal ridge during embryonic development and divide mitotically. Mitotically, now these now these cells are called ogenia. Ogenia, as the ogenia continue to grow, the size they are surrounded by a layer of granulosa cells. The assembly form the rudiment of the ovarian follicle. The process of ogenesis starts much before the birth of the female baby, and by the end of twelve weeks, the ovary is fully formed. The ovary has more than two million primordial follicles in it. The cells of the germinal epithelium give rise to the group of ogenia projection into in the cortex in the form of cords called egg strip of perfectly. Each cord at its end has a round ma round mass of ovarian cells called egg nets, from which the primordial ovarian follicle develops. Each primordial follicle has its center a large primary oocyte to n, surrounded by a single layer of flat follicular cells. The primary oocyte starts within its meiotic division, but gets arrested. It is a meiosis. One of the two million pre primordial follicles embedded in the fetal ovary, only about one million remains at birth, and only about forty thousand remains at the times of puberty. फिर आपको ये डायग्राम बना लेना है. उसके बाद है the histological structure of the ovary shows the different stages of development of the oocyte in the ovary. These changes are cyclic and occur during The menstruation cycle. This development involves maturation of the 
primordial follicle into primary, secondary, and graphene follicle. Each primary follicle has multi layered cuboidal uh, follicle cells. The stroma, the stroma cells add the echo over the follicle, which then change into a secondary follicle. There is a growth of the oocyte and the granular the cells increase in the number they start pro uh, producing the hormone estrogen the secondary follicle uh, grows into the graphene follicle by the addition hormone addition of more follicular cell as the process of maturation of follicle takes place the begin to move towards the surface of the ovary the graphene uh, follicle press against the thin wall of the ovary giving it the Listed appearance. The egg is released from the graphene follicle during ovulation, and the remaining part of follicle changes into a temporary uh, endocrine glands called corpus luteum. If fertilization does not take place, the corpus luteum degenerated into a white scar called corpus albicans. So, this answer is the of of ovary. Ka. Okay, let's read it. Let's see the next question. Dekhte. Sixth question आपको दिया गया describe the various method of birth control of avoid pregnancy. Answer है आपका contraceptive method are of two main type is the temporary and permanent. Temporary method, natural method, safe period या rhythm period. In the natural method, the principle of avoiding chance of fertilization is used a week or before and a week after menstrual bleeding. Is considered a safe period for sexual intercourse. This method is based on the fact that ovulation occurs on the 14th day of the menstruation cycle through a high rate of failure. Second day, coitus interrupts or withdrawal. In the in this method, the male partner withdraw his penis from the vagina just before ejection, so as to avoid inflammation. Through back pre ejaculation fluid may contain sperm, and this can Cause fertilization. Third, hai, lactational amenorrhea. This method is based on the fact that evolution does not occur during the period of intense lactation following parturition. There, for as long as the mother uh, breastfeeds the child fully, chance of the conceptions are all are almost negligible. Through a high chance of failure. Fourth, hai, chemical means. In this method, chemical like foam, tablet, jellies, and creams are used by the female partner before sexual intercourse. It, it the, if these chemicals are introduced into the vagina, they are added to the mucous membrane, immob immobilize and kill the sperm. So, back it may be cause allergic reaction. This method also has chance of failure. Fifth point: a mechanical means. In this method, the ovum and sperm are prevented from the physical emitting with the help of barriers. These mechanical barriers are three types. First, condom. Uh, it is a thin rubber sheet that is used to cover the penis of the male during copulation. It prevents the entry of ejaculated semen into the female reproductive tract. It can thus prevent conception. It is a simple and effective method and has no side effect. Condoms should as properly discarded after every use. A condom is also safeguard against SDS and ADS. Example: Nirodh is the most widely used contraceptive by males. It is easily available and given free by the government. Second, a diaphragm. Uh, this device used by female and made up your rub up rubber. They prevent conception by blocking the entry of sperm through the cervix. The device is inserted into the female reproductive tract to cover the cervix during copulation. Third, hai, intrauterine uh, device IUDS. These clinically device are plastic or metal object. A doctor of trained nurse place the IUDS into the uterus. This device in include the uh, lips of copper releasing IUDS CUT, CU7, multiloids 375 and hormone releasing IUDS LNG20 progesterone. Lip slop. It is a plastic double as slop. It attracts the uh, macrophages, stimula stimulating them to accumulate in the ut uterine cavity. Macrophages increase pycocytes of sperm within the uterus and act as a contraceptive. 
copper releasing iods super precious sperm mortality and the fertilization capacity of sperm hormone releasing iods make the uterus unsuitable from uh, for implantation and cervix hostile to the sperm it delays pregnancy for a long longer period throw back spontaneous excretion occlusional hemorrhage and chance of infection are the drawbacks of iods fifth point a uh, physiological device physiological device are used in the form of tablet pills it is an oral contraceptive used by the female which contains progesterone and estrogen these hormones inhibit evolution and snow eggs are released from the ovary of the female use his, these pills and thus conception cannot occur uh, they also alter the quantity quality of cervical mucus that prevent the entry of sperm this pill saheli is an oral contraceptive from for females which is a non steroidal saheli is to be taken once in a week this pills are sponsored by the government saheli is now a part of the national family programs as a oral contraceptive pills in india drawback drawback uh, oral contraceptive pills have side effects such as nausea weight gain tendons of breast tenderness of breast and slightly blood loose between menstrual period seventh point is other contraceptive this birth control implant is the contraceptive used by females example implanter nexon etc it is a tiny thin rod about the size of mattress stick it is the implanted under the skin of the upper arm and contain progesterone and estrogen their mode of action is similar to that of pills they prevent pregnancy for 3 to 4 years permanent method the permanent birth control method is men is called uh, vasect vasectomy and in the woman and in women it is called tubectomy these are surgical method are also called satellization in vasectomy a small part of the vas difference in the tied and cut in tubectomy a small part of the fallopian tube is tied and cut this bug them a transport and prevent pregnancy so ye aapke answer hai complete kar lijiye likh lijiye next question dekhte hain seventh question hai what are the goals of rch program answer likhenge the goals of the reproductive and child health care rch program are as follows to create awareness among people about various aspects related to reproduction to avoid facilities to people to understand and build of the reproductive health to pro- uh, to provide support for building up a reproductively health so- healthy society to bring about a change mainly in three critical health indication is that reducing total infertility rate infant mor- uh, mortality rate and मटेरनल मोटेलिटी रेट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आपको दिया गया है आपका क्वेश्चन नंबर एट विच हारमोन्स आर इन्वॉल्व इन ऑचुरेशन आंसर है ऑचुरेशन इज कंट्रोल्ड बाय अ कॉम्प्लेक्स न्यूरो न्यूरोडियन क्राइन मैकेनिज्म सिंगल्स अराइज फ्रॉम द फुली फॉर्म फोर्डस एंड प्लासेंटा कॉज माइल्ड यूट्रेन कॉन्ट्रेक्शन This is a combined by rise in estrogen progesterone ratio increase in oxytocin oxytocin receptor in uterine muscles increase in hormone ratio causes vigorous contractions of myo myo material of uterus at the end of pregnancy the fully developed fetus gives signals for the uterine contractions by secreting andro andreno cortis protopic hormone ACTH from pituitary and a corticosteroid from adrenal gland this in turn triggers the release of oxytocin from mother pituitary gland which act on the uterine muscles of the mother and causes vigorous uterine contraction leading to the explosion of the baby from the uterus question number 9 hai which are the function of male necessary act accessory gland answer hai male accessory gland secretes substances that protect the gametes and facilitates their movement seminal vessels these are pair of small fibromuscular punches present on the posterior side of the 
unary blender the secreted seminal fluid containing cytic acid, citric acid fructose fibrinogen and prostaglandins about 60% of the total volume of semen is made of the seminal fluid fructose provide energy to sperm for swimming a while fibrinogen help in the coagulation of semen after ejaculation for quick processing into a vagina the pro the prostaglandinal the prostaglandinous stimulate reverse peristalsis is the vagina and uterus adding the faster movement of sperm towards the egg in in the female body prostate gland the prostate gland consists of 20 to 30 lobes and they located under the urinary gland is the surrounded the urethra it's release a milky white alkaline fluid called prostatic fluid into the urethra prostatic fluid uh, from about 30% of the total volume of semen it's contained the uh, citric acid acid uh, phosphates and various other enzymes the acid phosphates pro uh, protects the sperm from the acidic environment of the vagina copper glands copper Copper glands are also known as bulbotrenal glands. These are pea-sized and lie no on either side of membranous urethra. They secrete a vacuous alkaline mucose-like fluid which acts as a lubricant during copulation. Semen. It is the uh, vacuous alkaline and milky fluid pH 7.22. 7.7 ejaculated by the male reproductive system generally 2.5 to 4.0 ml of semen is given out during a single ejaculation at its contained about 400 million sperm semen contains secretion of the epidermis and the accessory glands for nourishing fructose neutralizing acidity acidity ca plus plus bicarbonates activation for movement prostrunal Glandness. Question number 10 What is capacitance? Give it its importance. Answer A Capacitation generally requires 5 to 6 hours during which the acrosome membrane becomes thin. CA enters the sperm and sperm tails being the slow, uh, sure, rapid whiplash uh, movement. As a result of capacitation, sperm become extractive and begin to start moving upwards from the vagina to the uterus and to the oviducts, uh, prostonal, uh, prostaglandins activate the sperm. The vestibular secretion of the female also enhances sperm's mortality. The sperm swim at an average speed of 1.5 to 3.0 mm uh, per minimum. At reach the amphula, the construction of uterus and fallopian tubes stimulated by oxytocin. Oxytocin of females also adds uh, in the movement of sperm after capacitation the sperm may reach the amphibia with 5 minutes Our question number 5 and now we start with question number 6 long answer question first explain the following parts of male reproductive system along with label diagram showing this part testis versa differentia epidermis seminal vesicle prostate glands and penis ये आपका आंसर है तो फर्स्टली आपको बोला जाता है कि डायग्राम दिखाना उसके नेम के साथ तो ये डायग्राम है आपका फिर उसके बाद यहां पर दिया गया है द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फर्स्ट है प्राइमरी सिक्स ऑर्गन्स टेस्टिस एक्सोसरी ऑर्गन्स एक्सोसरी डक्ट एंड एक्सोसरी ग्लैंड एक्सटर्नल जेनिटालिया एंड स्कॉटम एंड पेनिस Primary sex organs, testis. Testis are the pair of primary sex organs which are mesodermal in organ. They are located outside the abdomen in the pouch called escortum. Is that extra abdominal in position? Testis developed in the abdominal cavity and later descend into the escortal sac. Through the passage called inguinal canal, they are suspended into the escortal sac by the spermatic cord. Testis are connected to the wall of escortum by a short. A fibromuscular band called uh, gibberellum. They are oval in shape, about 4 to 5 cm long, 2 to uh, 3 cm wide, and 3 cm thick. The outermost covering of the testes are formed of the dense fibrous membrane called uh, tunica. 
albumina second accessory sex organs it includes accessory duct accessory gland accessory duct first red testis the semi fibrous tubules of the testis of the, the posterior surface from uh, from a network of a tubules called red testis the red testis opens into a vessa efferentia vessa efferentia vessa efferentia are 12 to 20 fine tubules arising from the red testis and join to uh, epididymis the carry they carry sperm from the testis and open into the ep epididymis third uh, epididymis it is a long and highly coiled tube which is differentiated into a upper cap uh, capit middle corpus and lower quadra epididymis this sperm undergo maturation in the epididymis epididymis fourth uh, vessa differentia the vessa differentiation it travels up to the abdominal cavity and loops over the ureter to open into the uterus vas different join the seminal vesicle to form ejaculatory duct uh, fifth ejaculatory duct the ejaculatory duct passes through the prostate gland and opens into the uterus the uh, urethra the urethra provides a common passage for the urine and semen and hence is called urine urine or genital duct in males the uterus is the long and extend through the penis it opens up to the outside by the opening called a uterus mutus of uterus ortis we have exosic gland seminal vesicles these are a pair of a small fibromuscular products present on the posterior side of the fibrinogen a urinary blood they secrete a seminal fluid containing citric acid fructose fibrinogen and prostaglandin glandulins uh, about 60% of the total volume of semen is made up seminal fluid fructose provide energy to sperm for swimming while fibrinogen help in coagulation of semen after ejaculation for quick propagation into the vagina the upper glandin uh, stimulate reverse prostate in vagina and uterus adding the faster movement of sperm towards the egg in the female body prostate gland the prostate gland consists of 22 to 30 milliliters under the urinary gland it is surrounded the uterus is released a milky white alkaline fluid called prostatic fluid the uterine prostatic fluid forms about 30% of the total volume of semen contains citric acid acid phosphatase and various other enzymes the acid phosphatase protect the sperm from the acidic environment of vagina copper gland copper gland is are also known as valvulinal gland these are p size and lie on other sides of membranous uterine the secret of viscous alkaline mucose like fluid which act as lubricant during copulation semen it is the viscous alkaline and milky fluid ph 7.2 to 7.5 is secreted by the male reproductive system generally 2.5 to 4.0 ml of semen is given out during a single ejaculation and it contain about 400 million uh, sperms semen contains secretion of the epididymis and the axillary gland for nourishing fructose neutralizing acidity ca++ bicarbonates activation for movement prostaglandin glandulins external genitalia first a penis the penis is the male copulatory organ it is the cylindrical and muscu muscular with three bundles of electrolyte tissue appear for Lateral tissue appear of prostolateral tissue called corpora femoris and the median corpus spongiosum. The solvent tip of the penis is called gland penis. It is covered by a loose fold of skin called for skin for prepuce. We have a scrotum. It is a loose pouch of dented skin lying behind the penis and it divides into a right. B has scrotum. It is a loose pouch of pigmented skin lying behind the penis and is divided into a right and left scrotal sac by septum of tunica datos made of the smooth muscle fiber. The fertile testes and guided into a retained into the scrotum by a short fibromuscular band called a gubernaculum. The testes remains suspended into the scrotum by a spermatic cord. The failure of the testes of descent into the scrotum is called a uh, Cryptocytism, uh, which also result in certainty. 
the cream master the that was muscles of scrotum help in the drawing tissues close or away from the body this help is maintaining the temperature of the tissues 2.3 celsius lower than the normal body temperature necessary for spermatogenesis oh god aapke first question ka answer yahan pe khatam hua second aapka hai describe female reproductive system of human आंसर है फर्स्ट पॉइंट लिखेंगे ओवरी इट इज द प्राइमरी फीमेल सेक्स ऑर्गेन इट इज द सॉलिड ओवर द एल्बम शेप्ड अमन शेप्ड ऑर्गेन इट इज द थ्री सेंटीमीटर इन लेंथ वन पॉइंट फाइव सी एम इन ब्रिथ एंड वन सी एम थिक इट इज द लोकेटेड इन द अपर लेटरल पार्ट ऑफ द पेल्विज नियर द किडनी ईच ओवरी इट इज हेल्ड ऑफ पोजिशन बाई लिगमेंटेड बाई अटैचिंग इट इज इट टू द यूट्रिस एंड द एबडोमिन वॉल द लार्जेस्ट ऑफ दिस इज द ब्रॉड लिगमेंट फॉर्म बाई अ Fold of peritoneum. It holds the ovary, oviduct, and the uterus to the dorsal body wall. The ovarian ligament attaches the ovary to the uterus. Function है. Uh, its main function is production of egg or ovum and the female reproductive hormones. The ovary produces five hormones: which estrogen, progesterone, relaxin, activation, and inhibin. Oviduct है. Uh, these are the pair of muscular ducts lying uh, lying horizontally over the 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 cavity, the promoxial part of the tube lies close to 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 ovary and dextly, it's open into the uterus. Each tube to, is to 10 to 12 cm in length. It is internally lined by ciliated epithelium. It can divide into the three regions. Uh, in fundibulum, the proximal funnel like the part of part with an opening called ostium, surrounded by many fingers like process called uh, fimbri. The cilia and the movement of fimbria help to transporting the ovulated egg to the ostium. Next is ampulla. It is the middle long of a straight part of the viduct. Fertilization of the ovum takes place in the origin. The uh, third point is stomas. The distal narrow part of the duct opening into the uterus function is called fallopian tube. Carry the released egg from the ovary to the uterus. Ampulla provides the sites for fertilization of the ovum. Sixth, the uterus. It is a commonly also called as the womb. Uh, it is the hollow muscular pear-shaped organ located above the behind the urinary. Gland. It is the seven point five centimeter long, five cm broad, and twenty point five six thick. Internally, the uterine wall carries the distribution into three layers. The outermost perimeterium, middle thick muscular membrane, made of the thick layer of smooth muscles. Vigorous contraction of these muscles causes labor. Where during parturitions, in the innermost layer called endometrium of musical membrane is made of. of stratified epithelium the thickness of the layer regularly undergoes change during the menstruation cycle it is the richly supplied of the layer uh, supplied with blood with blood blood cells and uterine glands this provide nourishment to the developing fetus the uterus can be divided into three regions first a fundus it is a open domain shaped part normally implantation of the embryo occurs in the fundus Second, the body. It is the broad part of the uterus which gradually taper downwards. Third, the cervix. It is a narrow neck, about two point five centimeter in length. It extends into the vagina. Its passage uh, has two opening and internal os office towards the body and external or speak towards from the uh, towards the vagina function a uterus receive the ovum it provides sites for implantation gestation and parturition it from placenta from the for the development of fetus d h vagina it is a tubular female copulatory organ 7 to 9 cm in length it lies between the cervix and the vestibule the vaginal wall has an inner musical lining the middle muscular layer and outer adventitia Layer. The musical epithelium is stratified and non 
candidates and strong glycogen they are no glands but the cervical secretion of mucus it is received in uh, in the vagina the opening of the vagina into the vestibule is called vaginal orifice the vaginal orifice is partially covered by the hymen function the vagina acts as the pas a passage for the menstruation force as well as birth canal during parturition external genitalia hai yani vulva the external genital uh, genital uh, organs of female include part external to the vagina collectively called vulva or pudendium uh, pudendium uh, they include the parts vestibule vestibule it is a median vertical depression of vulva enclosing the uterine and vaginal opening second is labia minora and these are another pair of the thin folds into the labia majora with uh, which the major uh, posteriorly to the from the vulvar valve towards anterior and the converge into a hood like covering around the uterus uterus a small conical and sensitive projection lying in the anterior end of the labia minora it has a pair of atypical tissue is that corpora Uh, cavernosa which is a homologous to penis labia majora these are the pair of fleshly fold of skin forming a boundary of the vulva they are homologous to the scrotum this round this round and protect other part of external genital and enclose the uterus and vaginal opening in the vestibule next aata hai aapka mons pubis it is a fleshly evolution of the abelo the labia majora the mons pubis and outer part of labia majora so pubic here accessory gland uh, vestibular gland it is the pair of the gland homologous to the uh, bulb ortical of cover glands of the male they open into by vestibule and release the lubricatory fluid be hem mammary gland these are accessory organ of female reproductive system from the production and release of milk after fertilization the development of mammary gland occurred at the per- puberty under the influence of estrogen and progesterone lactopic hormone lth or uh, prolactin help in the development of lactic vestibulis during pregnancy the mammary glands and are a pair of round structure present in the subsequent tissue of the anterior thorax in the practical region these are modified fluid glands each mammary glands contain fatty connective tissue and the numerous lactic the, the glandular tissue of the each breast is divide into 50 to 20 irregularly shaped mem- mammary lobes uh, each with alveolar glands and lactiferous duct alveolar gland secrete milk which is stored in the lumen of alveoli the uh, alveoli open into mammary tubules the tubules of the of each lobe join from a mammary duct many mammary duct join to form a wider mammary ampulla which is connected to lactiferous duct this converge towards the nipple located near the tip of the breast it is surrounded by a, a dark brown colored and circular area of skin called areola next question aapko diya gaya hai yani aapka second jo tha wo bhi khatam hua ye bhi kafi long tha but aapko padhna to padega hai na kyunki aapko pura describe bol, karne bola tha okay third question hai hamara describe the process of fertilization you answer Fertilization is the process of process which involves the fusion of the haploid males and diplo- and female gametes resulting in the formation of diploid zygote to end the process of fertilization is internal and it usually takes place in the ampulla of the fallopian tube the fertilized egg of zygote further develops into an embryo within the uterus the mechanism of fertilization is as follows first a movement of a sperm towards egg the ejaculated semen is made of the sperm and some other secretion this coagulated semen undergoes liquefaction and the sperm become active once the sperm reach the vagina around 50% sperm are demobilized broken destroy and the remaining sperm undergo cap- uh, capacitation 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 generally requires 5 to 6 hours during which the chromosome membrane meet, becomes thin ca++ enters the sperm and the sperm tails being the show rapidly with heavy plush movement as a result of capacitation the sperm become extra active and begin to start moving upward from the vagina to uterus and the oviduct prosto gland is active the sperm the vestibular secretion of the female also enhance 
sperm mortality. The sperm swim at the average speed of 1.5 to 3.0 mm uh, and reach the ampulla, the construction of the uterus and fa uh, fallopian tubes stimulated by ox oxytocin of the of female also at the movement of sperm after capsulation the sperm may reach the ampulla within 5 minutes. Second point likhenge entry of sperm into the egg. Out of 200 and 4, 200 sperms only few hundred manage to reach the ampulla out of which only a single sperm fertilizes the ovum. After the sperm reaches the egg ovum its Acrosome released lysine, uh, hyd hydronolocytes and corona penetrating enzyme. The enzyme separate and dissolve the cells of corona radiata so that the sperm ha head can pass through the zona placida of the egg. The zona placida has fertilization receptor protein zp 3 zp 2 The fertilization binds the specific acid protein anti-fertilization fertilizing of sperm and bring about the attraction of sperm to the egg to enhance fertilization. Acrosome reaction. As the sperm head touched the zona placida into the in the animal um, pole region, its acrosome covering reproduces the release life tick enzymes. Acrosin or zona lysine which act on the uh, zona placida at the point of contact this cause egg reaction during which a small fertilization cone of Reception is formed on the egg membrane. The sperm head comes in contact with the cone. It results in the production of a weak wave of depolarization. The plasma membrane of the both cell dissolve at the point of contact. The sperm nucleus and the centrals enter the egg while other part remain outside. As soon as sperm head touches the vital membrane, a cortical reaction gets activated, changing the vital membrane into a fertilization membrane by deactiv deactivating the sperm receptors of zona placida destiny a palivate line a space in created around the fertilization membrane this prevents any further entry of other sperm into the egg is that polysperm is avoided third point activation of ovum the ovum before fertilization was the metaphase second stage after the contact of a sperm head to the white line membrane of egg it get activated to resume and complete meiosis second after meiosis second the second polar body is formed the germinal vesicle organized organized into the female uh, pronucleus also known as the turnover of egg the fusion of egg and sperm the covering of male and female uh, pronuclei degenerate following the chromosomal pairing uh, this result into the formation of cyclinogram by the process called Synogamy or craniogamy, the zygote is thus from the proximal centroid to receive the from the sperm help in the formation of the cyclone spindle and the cleavage of the cell into the plastomers. The zygote is thus formed. The proximal centroid received from the sperm help in the formation of the cyclone spindle and the cleavage of the cell into the blastomers. Oh no. आपका थर्ड क्वेश्चन जो था डिस्क्राइब द प्रोसेस ऑफ फर्टिलाइजेशन ये भी कंप्लीट हो गया लास्ट है फोर्थ एक्सप्लेन द प्रोसेस बाय व्हिच जाइगोट डिवाइड्स एंड रीडिवाइड्स टू फॉर्म द मोरियुला आपका आंसर है द जाइगोट फॉर्मड एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ सिनोगेमी इज एक्टिवेटेड टू डिवाइड क्लीवेज क्लीवेज इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ द अर्ली माइटोटिक डिवीजन ऑफ द जाइगोट इनटू अ होलो मल्टीपल Multicellular blastula it does not involve to the growth of daughter cell. The cell formed by a cleavage are called blastomers since there is no growth phase between the cleavages. The size of blastomers will be reduced with every successive cleavage as the size reduces. The metabolic rate increases. Subsequent cleavage are thus faster than earlier ones. The requires rapid application of DNA and high consumption of oxygen second point a process of cleavage in human cleavage is the ho holoplastic is that the whole zygote get divided the cleavage plants may, may be longitudinal or meridional and equatorial of ho or horizontal it radial and interdimitated is that fate of each blastomer is not 
predominated the first event in the zygote in meridional and occurs at about 30 hours after fertilization it divides longitudinal into uh, two blastomers one slightly larger than the other the second cleavage uh, is also longitudinal but uh, at right angle to the first one and the occurs after 13 hours first cleavage the third cleavage is horizontal after third cleavage the embryo is in the eight cell stage while the cleavage occur the young embryo is gradually uh, being pushed towards the uterus by the end of fourth day after fertilization the embryo is solid ball of 60 uh, 60 to 32 cells and external looking like blueberry uh, this stage is thus called a morula third and last point is morula the morula shows uh, cells of two types a smaller clearer cells towards the outer side b uh, inner cells masses of larger cell cell are compactly arranged till the formation of morula the zona placida is retained around the embryo and thus there is no change in the overall size for zygote to morula the morula which is in the uh, isthmus and gains entry, entry into the uterus by the end of day 4 so yahan par aapke sare question answer khatam hote hain hamare second chapter reproduction in higher lower and higher animals mein to so, part 1 is video ko do part mein banaya gaya hai part 1 aur part 2 mein to aap log पार्ट वन नहीं देखे तो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में भी आपको लिंक मिल जाएगा आप वहाँ से भी देख सकते हो ओके और आपको आई बटन पे भी मिल जाएगा ओके सो यहीं पे वीडियो को एंड करते हैं बाय एंड टेक केयर आपको अदर टॉपिक पे वीडियो चाहिए तो आप हमें कमेंट करके लिख के बता सकते हैं अपना फीडबैक कॉमेंट में दे वीडियो पसंद है तो लाइक कीजिए अगर नहीं पसंद है तो डिसलाइक भी कर सकते हो और आपको लगता है कि इन्फॉर्मेशन मिल रही है तो चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करके जाइए और ये वीडियो को ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा शेयर कीजिए अपने फ्रेंड के साथ चलिए मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में बाय एंड टेक केयर